Hi guys, it's Mommy Tang. What's up, Tang Gang? Today I have somebody. Her name is. Why well, go like this? Get the card. Oh. Okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Kayla, how old are you now? Eighteen. No, you're not eighteen. <laughs> she just started driving, so she's sixteen. You guys haven't seen her for so long, right? Look how pretty she got. And grown. For PJs. And she's wearing PJ, my PJs. <laughs> yeah. I know you guys care more about me than you do. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. So today, guys, I have. What is it intro? I always do this. You just stuff. introduced me. Exactly. Exactly. So Puff. I stay. Puff be gone. Go. So I stay. Puff be gone. <laughs> guys. Today we have kong namul. Kong namul is kong means bean. Namul means sprout. Kong namul. When we say kong namul in Korean, Koreans know that you're talking about soybean sprouts. They say I've heard it somewhere that we're the only ones that eat this. The only race that eats bean soybean sprouts. Do you believe that? That we have so many dishes. Authenticity. Authenticity. No. How do you eat it? No. They don't eat it. Do they didn't sell it? No, they didn't sell it. They they eat mung bean sprouts, not the soybean sprouts. We have kung namul kuo, kung namul pa, kung namul chige, kung namul chige. No, and then we put like kung namul in a lot of dishes, side dishes. There's so many dishes. But today, I think I've done this before. I think I sang in one of these when I was making. But in this past few days, when I I seem like someone else. There, uh, yeah. So this was, especially right now, guys, when everything's so expensive, this is a very healthy thing that you could get. Sprouts are good for you, right? And some Koreans believe that if you eat a lot of sprouts, that you'll get taller. I don't know. They say it's because you know the, not this, one, not this one, obviously, but. They say because the not this one either. Uh, they say the not this one either. What's going on? What's going on? I know. See, you know how the spikes are really long, right? So they say that if you eat this, you're gonna grow taller. I think it's something that you know, like the old people, like back in the day, they made that up so you could eat it because you know, back in the day. Well, not even back in the day. Even now, it was very cheap. I think I believe I bought this for like what 99 cents on sale or something like that, and you could feed a whole family. Uh, yeah, and then the calories, look at the calories, like 25 for a whole bag. No, never mind. That's misinformation. Yeah. I, think the, the I, think I think 25 calories per one serving, and there's four servings, so it's like 100, 100 calories. But anyways, yeah, so I'm debating if I should make the rice or the soup. What do you think? Rice. Rice. I already make the rice. I already make the rice. I, I need rice for both. I need rice for a bowl. Only reason I don't want to do soup. Yeah? Wait, we have to boil them anyways. You have to boil them anyways. It's, just, it's the same process. The only thing is, the soup is for winter. And then usually, Queen Amul Pub is for summer. We're in winter right now. Should we do soup? I kind of do want to do soup. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. I'm asking to get the answer that I want. Should we do soup? No, I think we do rice. How about we do soup today and then. Maybe the next episode I'll do kuna with pop. I think I did kuna with pop in the past. Mm. Yeah? Yeah? Agree? Because you're gonna eat with me. This video is sponsored by AG1 is comprehensive plus convenient daily nutrition with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients made for just about everybody. Taking a bunch of pills and capsules is hard on the stomach and hard to keep up with and hard to know if they're all working well together. Each scoop of AG1 is 9 health products in one, giving you the equivalent of a multivitamin, minerals, probiotic, and more. It's made in New Zealand and it's very diet friendly with vegetarian, vegan, paleo, keto, and for low carb. AG1 daily support for energy and immune system, gut health and digestion, liver function, hormone function, brain and neurofunction, body's normal detox process, 
and blood sugar levels already within normal range. I love the fact that it's absolutely no GMOs, animal byproducts, no gluten, no lactose, no herbicides or pesticides, no dairy, no artificial colors, flavors, preservatives or sweeteners, or no dextrose. Take one scoop every day in 8 to 12 ounces of cold water. I don't know what it tastes like. Like pineapple bubblegum. You guys should drink AG1. It tastes good. It doesn't have like a super potent smell, but it tastes kind of like bubblegum and pineapple. Yeah, let her do the talking. <laughs> guys, I am 47 years old. Healthy aging is so important to me, like really important. So my morning routine, number one routine by far, I would get, I usually get up and I, you know, wash up and I do a little stretch upstairs. And then first thing I come downstairs, this is what I take first, always. I drink this to support healthy skin my nails and my hair especially my hair and my skin and clarity and focus is another thing that i look for you guys and this is you know they say sleeping is very important for the skin beauty right like the beauty skin beauty is that what you say skin beauty skincare. a skincare and this has vitamins that helps with your sleep quality ultimately supporting your mental alertness what do you like about ag hunky you've been taking it as long as i've been taking it it helps with my digestion all yeah. the time what else do you think yeah. i know this improves your digestion is probably because of the probiotic and prebiotic that's in there and I, it's like packed with minerals so important for yeah it combats the muscle cramps and helps yeah. with balancing the stress i did not know that that oh it helps you with sleep too yeah definitely so click my link below to get one year supply of immune supporting vitamin d3k2 and five travel packs free with your first purchase that's one year supply of immune supporting vitamin d3k2 and five travel packs free with your first purchase you when you open the back they will smell very funky like sprout like sprout and it will suck together so you want to wash it three times <laughs> You have to do it three, three times. times. No, you don't have to wash it three times. You can do it twice if it's clean. If it's dirty, do it four times. There's no rules, okay? No rules. <laughs> I'll wash it. I'll be right back. Uh, assisted, are you going to help me or do I have to wash it? You can wash I it. I have to wash it. I wash it. All right. Here is a popular debate question. Apple juice or orange juice? My opinion, orange juice, but you know. It's more football. You're so sure you can't even see it. <laughs> okay, so the bean sprouts are washed. I'm going to show you how to cook this. It's so easy, it's so fast, and it's healthy. If you're into Whole Foods and you need some soup, some clear soup, eat this, okay? So well, he can't, he just washed it, not three times. Remember, two or four, right? <laughs> so when you're washing, uh obviously my assistant did do it properly maybe you don't wash it three times but you'll see these like dead sprouts sometimes to see these or uh like a head that's like kind of black and brown whatever you don't want to use that okay all right let's make soup fire okay no fire fire there you go some water cold water okay now I've heard this many many other ways some people say do it in hot water do it in cold water I use cold water so when you put water right away you want to put the sprouts with your cold water that's right don't wait till it boils hot see there's like black ones like that you want to take it out okay I'm going to teach you how to cook this so you're like, if you're in a really healthy, like, um, like a diet, like a whole food diet, you want to follow from the beginning and go on from there. So the first step to make the broth. Now you can make it with vegetable stock, like kombu, 
onion, scallion, daikon. You put everything in one pot, you make the broth, and then you take the vegetable out, and then you make the broth, and then you cook this, and then you add the salt and whatever. And you could do it like that. That's like probably the healthiest way, but <laughs> I have no time for that. So, so I'm going to cheat this way, and then use this Japanese kombu powder that has no salt added MSG. I don't know, maybe it's not healthy, maybe it is. Who knows? Only Japanese people would know. I can't read Japanese, but I like the flavor. It's vegan, so you just put, I don't know, for this month, I put half, okay? And I use this for almost everything. Look for it on my Amazon shop, because I put it there, because some people are like, where can I find that? Yeah, I found it. It's like a little bit, to be honest, it's a dollar more than H Mart, but hey, if you have Prime delivery, you get it right at your door. Okay, so that will be like the, the soup broth, right? And then I need some salt. If you first taste it, you'll be like, oh my God, that's like a raw sprout soup. Yeah, that's exactly what it is right now. And then you put some salt. Very important salt. Enough to flavor. You're gonna put soy sauce or liquid amino. Liquid amino is lighter but sweeter. Just one around. You don't want to make this too dark, okay? Some people put so much soy sauce that the soup becomes like brown, like. And then, of course, yandu. You guys know all yandu by now. What is it, Mommy Tang? What is it, Hungi? Please tell them what this is. Basically, like, what's the iron Umami. It's like an essence. It is essence. essence. That's right. But there are so many mushroom essence, and like I said in my Amazon shop, you know, there's a lot of essence, vegan essence. I put there like mushroom shiitake essence and Chinese, you know, whatever essence. I have, but there's a lot of essence that I collected and gathered for you. You can check that out. It's already good. So you just have to boil it, okay? And meanwhile, you want to make rice, right? Because you're going to eat it with rice. Obviously, if you did this, I guess you don't have to eat it with rice. If you're into like whatever diet, no rice diet, I'm going to eat it with rice. I'm going to show you how I cooked rice today because I cooked it with sushi rice plus barley, flat barley. This is sushi rice, you guys. Regular sushi rice. I have two cups here. I've made four cups of sushi rice. They're short grain. The long grains are not sticky. Short grains are sticky, okay? And then I have this thing called barley rice. They have like three types of barley rice, I believe, or two for Koreans. This is flattened out, so it cooks faster. If you see like a whole, it's like oatmeal steel cut versus Instant, instant. So I like to mix like white right rice and a little bit of like splash of barley. This goes stale really fast. You gotta eat it fast too. But anyways, and I mix it like that. That was very little. Yeah. And then I just cook it like how I would cook regular rice, right? And when I do that, I'll show you what it looks like at the end of the day. Almost 20 year old rice cooker. It's my favorite rice cooker. And the funny thing, they still sell it. It cooks. They still sell it. It cooks rice perfectly. I know. I have so many rice cookers. Put it down. Fire, fire. Um, I feel like like this works the best. So, so this is what it looks like, you guys. Okay, look. Oh my I'm, God. I'm gonna scoop it over and then I'm gonna show you. The, the rice with the little line, that's barley. I'm gonna cover my face. See the little lines on barley? That's barley, okay? So what you wanna do, especially if you have rice cooker, when you cook rice cooker, you have to make sure you stir. What do you call this, like shuffle? What do you call this? So I'm gonna eat it with rice. I'll show you how I eat it with rice. That's your favorite part, you gotta, you gotta do it. What? It's a signature move. What, this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's make the soup again. Whew, this is very dangerous. All right, fire on. Now it's boiling, woohoo! Okay, you guys, mung bean sprouts, okay? Mung bean sprouts are different. Mung bean sprouts, they don't have head. The head, like see how this one has the head? The head of a sprout? 
see how it says a sprout? The mung bean doesn't, right? So this head has to be cooked. If it's not, it's gonna taste a little fishy. Not even fishy, but like, I don't even know what you, what's the word? Like pirinne. It's very unpleasant. Pirinne. Pirinne. Kong pirinne. Pirinne smells like, like fishy. Yeah. Kong has pirinne too. Oh. We call it, in Korean, we call it pirinne. Oh, that's good. So we put everything in there, right? And then now we put some scallions. So guys, I buy scallions when they're on sale. Because scallions are sometimes like three for $1.99 and then it's like sometimes it's like one for $3.99. Like what is going on, scallion farmers? So I bought it when it's cheap and then I freeze them like this and I put it in the soup. Like this is for soup stock, obviously, like these. And then I cut them like small like this. They bunch up, but they're there for soup. And then when you put it, it becomes like very easy. I put lots of scallion because I love my scallions. Mm -hmm. And are we done, Mommy Tang? Of course not. <laughs> my assistant, remember the garlic. Remember the garlic paste, guys? It was like so little. Look, I just bought this. Look how big it is again. I don't know. There's nothing but garlic. I feel like a lot of the Korean, um, never mind. All right. So let's do some garlic. I put a lot in there because if you put more, it becomes more Asian and more Korean. Koreans love garlic. Sometimes when I go to H Mart and I bump into old, old grandmas, they smell like garlic. Yeah, because they peel garlic every day. Yeah, and they eat garlic and they like do garlic. So I'm like, <sighs> so garlic is a must in Korean food. So if you don't like garlic, you could skip all that. Okay, and then it's pretty much the soup is done. Do you see how easy it was? But the soup is like this is this is very like they eat this after they drink like when they drink saturday they drink oh, hangover hangover soup and then you put some black black pepper okay i'm not gonna put that i'm gonna put it in my soup a little bit of black pepper oh, oh that's not a little bit that's a lot but that's all right because i'll be eating the whole thing by myself Oh, oh, you gotta try it. It's spicy, but it's good. Oh, that's good. If you want it really spicy, I got this for you guys white pepper ground. I'm gonna put that individually into my soup, and I'm gonna tell you, or I'm gonna show you how I eat it, okay? So if you make this, I'm like, what do you eat that? How do you eat that? Well, you need side dishes like kimchi. We're gonna have two types of kimchi. You need kim, that's like staple, I guess, right? And then you need rice. I'll be right back. Okay, so when it comes to Korean food, there's like, is there etiquette or rules or, I don't know, there's not really rules, but people just do it, and I guess it became a rule or something. Ooh, look. Brought me chunga kimchi. I also have vegan cheshi kimchi. Oh, are we finished? Are we done yet, Mommy Tang? Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> Never done when it gets so super protein, 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 protein. All right. So that's that. So guys, you put the soup and you put the rice, that's the wrong way, okay? If you're going to stir this right, you gotta put the rice and then soup. I'll show you how it's done. And I'm gonna use the soup for you to demonstrate how you do this properly. You put a little bit of rice, whatever the amount that you're going to eat, in the center of the bowl, like so. This is how much rice I'm going to eat. Is it a lot? Is this a lot? No. A little bit more, right? You put the rice on the bottom. Yeah, it's been a while since you ate white rice. I know, oh my God, I've been eating brown rice, you guys, because, uh, long story. But anyways. All right, so when, after you put the rice, you're going to put the soup on the top. <laughs> if you could grab it, like. No, I could grab it, I could grab it, okay? Just, okay, you put the top all the rice and you just put the soup like so if you're on a fat free carb diet this is it for you like so okay let's see how it is like that now 
If you want it really spicy, like you want like, oh, like that spicy, then you could put a whole bunch of like red pepper and stuff. Are you gonna put red pepper? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna put red pepper? The no. crayon flakes. I tell people put that and make it red. I don't like it. I like it white. I sometimes like it red. So you put a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of white pepper around it. You don't have to, okay? But it does change and alter the the flavor. And that's it, pretty much. That's it, you guys. You serve it like that. I kind of ruined it, but and then you just kind of do this, and then you just eat it, okay? I'm gonna have some kim, you guys. Do you remember what this is? Yeah, you do? That's good, you guys have good memory. But for some of you that don't know, or just new, this is toasted, roasted seaweed. Wow. And they sell it in little, like they sell it in Costco and stuff. They sell it in like little pouches, but you know, to minimize the plastic waste and all, Koreans, it's oiled and it's salted. They sell it like this, and you cut it yourself at home instead of, you know, they, uh, like so you cut it I usually cut it like this okay and then I cut it again like that and this is probably the size that you are used to from you know from Costco and stuff but look how much uh, this is more more like a family look how much you get and you know it's cheaper this way and it's less plastic and all that stuff Kim Hi. Kim, It's so good. So I'm gonna put the kim in here. Actually, never mind. I'm gonna put it here. Oh, can't wait. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Guys, it's so good. I love this soup. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Mm. The tonga kimchi radish kimchi, guys. You cooked it longer, it wouldn't have been bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> so good. Mm. Almost done. Oh man, the white peppers are awesome. Mm. No much here. Oh, mm. show another. It's like, it makes you clear, like, when you have cold and you're sick or something, like, you drink this, it's or even like. Congestion. Yeah. But it's so good. There's so many different versions to make this. You can make it with kimchi, you can make it with meat, obviously. Some people make it with fish. Radish. Remember the radish soup you did? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 And just soften it a little bit, tiny, tiny bit. When you eat it, it's not so good like that too. Mm. I love my Korean food. So that's baking me raspberry cupcakes. <laughs> you guys have to go get raspberry cupcake or you think it's a raspberry? No, I didn't get raspberry, dry raspberry. It's for coloring. Oh. I got raspberry. Mmm. Mmm. Thank God my lipstick's vegan because I'm eating my lipstick. I gotta have my kimchi. No double dipping. This is new kimchi. Um. 
different kimchi, different taste, different flavor. Oh my god, so good. Mmm, kimchi. What is the kimchi? No, I didn't like kimchi and then this made me like kimchi. I know, right? Now you love kimchi. I only like this one though. I don't like the other Because this one. It's, cut, it's, like, it's not like... It's so fresh. It's not really like... It's like more like a salad kimchi, you know? It's like fermented and fresh at the same time. Mm. And somewhere, somewhere between the line, you gotta drink the soup. Like so. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god, that was so good. Mm -hmm. How come you not put that much soup in there? There's not much soup left, and Kayla has to eat it, so I just... She won't be able to eat it, it's too spicy. She might not be... <gasps> Look at that, I love this part too. You know your kids don't like that part? I don't know. They only like the gakturi part. Mmm. No, but it's so much though because I didn't eat anything all day really, but yeah. You haven't been eating any. Thank you. Ever since I met you. Yeah. No. <clears throat> Let me correct that. When I first met you, till now, do you think I changed? Yeah. No. No, that's not what I mean. You look at gas station. No, that's now? not what I mean. <laughs> that's not what I mean. No, what I mean is, for example, you're more comfortable. No, you don't even know what I mean. You can't answer before I say what I mean. Okay. What I mean is, when I first met you, I was a lot more shy. I was a lot more sweeter. I'm sure. In real life. When I first met you, I'm talking about. And I was probably also a lot more understanding. A lot more, probably prettier because I always like make sure, you know, when I see you that I look good, my best. And then as I got to know you, I got really comfortable with you. I'm not really, sh I mean, I do. That's the crazy part with me and you that I still do get shy around you, but not like how I used to be shy in front of you, right? Yeah. And obviously I get comfortable, we got comfortable and everything. There's like, there's a lot more, no, there are positive things that change. I mean, th there are positive things that happen because I've known you for so long. But I'm talking about when I first met you, okay. all the traits that you thought that like, oh my gosh, right? Did you have anything like that that you changed to me, maybe, in the beginning? Maybe like you're a lot more sweeter, more gentle, I don't know, whatever it is. Do you think? What do you think? I think I became more authentic. You. More <coughs> you or me? Me. Are you talking about you? Pebble ice. I love my pebble ice. Oops. La corks, crooks. La Croix. <laughs> La Croix. Oh! Oh my god, so good! Do you know what I mean? Like when I first met you, like I was shy and I was like giggly and like happy. Like I don't really have that. Everybody's like that when they first date, and then it doesn't stay like that forever. I mean, like, I mean, think about it. 
You know, your first fight or whatever, you you, you know each other for five years, you're not gonna be like all oh, shy and giggly. Anya? There's a point to this, that's why I'm asking you. I told you I became more authentic. You became more authentic? Yeah. By what? Like, what, what are the traits that you kind of had in the beginning to like, not to show off, but you, I mean, everybody does want to show off in the beginning, but. I think I used to like, try to please every people, everybody. I'm talking about me, to me. Oh. How I act to you? Yeah. Well, that's the thing, I used to try to please everybody, now I only please you. So you're saying you haven't changed at all? Oh, I used to please everybody else and you, but now I don't please anybody else, I just please you. That's not a personal trait, as in like, you were more gentle or sweet or... I became more understanding towards you. I understand your situation better. Okay. Obviously, you don't understand the question. I don't. What I'm trying to say is, when you first date, well, like for me, when I first started dating you, right? I was a little bit more shy. I took care of myself better. I was more understanding, like I said, all those things, right? And then you get comfortable with that person and you kind of let that go. No makeup all the time. Like, for example, when I first saw you, I'd be like, oh my gosh, thank you, so sweet. And I was like, oh, thanks. It becomes like that. I know. You know? But. What I was trying to say is that, don't you think in a relationship it's important to somewhat keep that? Or somewhat bring that back? Yeah, I think so. Whoever, you fall in love with that person for the traits. Like, you know, let's say you meet, him, you meet him and he's always clean, he's always sharp, he's always taking a shower. And all of a sudden, you guys get married and you find out that he's a dirty, clumsy guy. You're, you're not really dating the guy that who you you thought he was, kind of. Yeah, Does that make sense? You, get, you got fooled. Yeah, so if it's like that, then you need to go back to kind of like taking care of yourself to bring back what you what used to be to please this person in the past. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. I was just saying that in relationships, it's very important to have that. Because last time, I remember we talked about how, you know, you had to be one and all that stuff. But I think it's also important that you don't lose that feeling of. You mean like the honeymoon phase, like just trying to bring that back? Oh my god. Why? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. See yeah. That? You got you should the fire can't die. Hmm? The fire should never die. I don't know. So how do you think you can bring it back? If some if some a relationship is dead, how do you think you bring you it back? You add more wood. Depends on what the wood is for each person. For you, mm -hmm. it's me never getting mad. Mm. For some people it's buying them Gucci bags. No, <laughs> no. What do you mean? Some people, some people think that's love buying people a gift. But you can't buy them, buy them, buy them, buy them. They're gonna buy them until they die. No, I'm saying some. Sometimes the girls no. feel loved when a husband buys them something. That's all temporary. It'll last. You got to do it bigger. Yeah, but everybody's Sooner. different. Everybody has different types of wood that they add to the fire to make their honeymoon. I guess. But you know what? This that rule doesn't apply only to couples. It applies to your kids. You know, when you first have your ch child yeah. as a baby, as an infant, you're like, oh my god, so cute, and they're like, oh, okay, mommy, we'll do it for you. And then as they get older, you're like, no. It uh -huh. continues, and you scream at them, right? You have to kind of rewind yourself, and then get back to the infant stage where you're like, oh, okay, of course. You know what I mean? Yeah, Even like, friendship. When you first meet them, your friends, you're nice to them. Don't you think, Kayla? What do you think? What are you even listening? I want to talk about that today. I feel like we just brought our fire back recently. Yeah. For us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't lost, lost, but. 
we were kind of busy with our own lives, I guess. Should I say it like that? What do our you think? Our fire definitely did settle down a little bit, but it never died. It was always there. But some couples is dead. Fire's dead. Oh, yeah, ours was never dead. I've known you for now, what, four years now. I mean, we didn't date for four years. Or is it five? But definitely in the beginning, our fire was so strong, but, you know, life gets to you and everything. And then, yeah, it slows down a little bit. But the, but we brought our fire back. And it's so nice to have the fire back, don't you think? Yeah, I think every couple has different fires though. Yeah, but the thing for is, for you and me, it was like literally a humongous fire in the beginning. Yeah, and then and when it kind of calmed, it kinda down. calmed down, we weren't really satisfied with that. I wasn't. You weren't either. Yeah. So we went. And we brought it back up. We brought it back up with like a whole bunch of wood and everything. It's more steady now. It's not like crazy, you know what I mean? The, like yeah, the beginning, yeah. it, used to be it was crazy. like so crazy. Like you have to like go back, and everybody was like, "Stay back, stay back." Maybe it's like now, That's like everybody should... could go around cozy, yeah. kind of around the fire. It has to be a balance. Yeah. Everything I, is balanced. Oh no, it's funny because as soon as I start feeling like that towards you, I start feeling shy towards you again. <laughs> like in the beginning when I was like shy, you know. Go. Yeah. <laughs> You feel shy around me now? I feel like I ate something that I'm not supposed to. Hey, something went inside. What is that? What is that? It's the bag. You cut the bag. Mm. It's so good. Oh my gosh, so good. You gotta eat the, the last bit of it. Bring the fire back, you guys. Bring it back. Are you actually gonna cook something? I'm waiting for you. Okay, come on. Come on, bring it over. Actually, that was really good. I'm almost in that. Finish. Finish too. Oh, that, was, that was so good. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, y'all. Kayla's gonna. Bake you some vegan cupcake. For me, for you, stay tuned.